In this video, we're going to show you how to install the speed sensor on your Ford Mustang, located on the driver's side of the transmission. We want to use a 13 millimeter socket on this nut. We want to go ahead and remove this nut to, dis to disengage the shift cable. We're also going to use our 13 millimeter wrench on the controller up top here. We're going to hold this while we loosen this nut. Now our whole unit here is spinning. So we're going to use some small locking pliers here. We need to keep the inboard section from spinning while we loosen this. Now our shift cable bracket is held in place by two 10 millimeter bolts. Loosen and remove those. Now if we follow up the side of the transmission, we're gonna find our speed sensor right here and it's held in place by a single eight millimeter bolt. We're gonna use our quarter inch ratchet with our deep socket. Now reach up there. Once that bolt is loose, you can spin that out with your fingers in most cases. If not, just keep your ratchet on there and keep spinning that out. Now we have the bolt out. And reach out and see if we can wiggle that sensor free. Now there is an electrical connector attached to it. We're gonna remove the sensor here, pull it out, and drop it down. Now we have the connector on the back side. It's easy to remove with the sensor pulled out of the transmission. Push down this little spring clip and go ahead and wiggle the connector free. Remove the sensor. Now if we follow up the side of the transmission, we're gonna find our speed sensor right here and it's held in place by a single eight millimeter bolt. We're gonna use our quarter inch ratchet with our deep socket. Now reach up there. Once that bolt is loose, you can spin that out with your fingers in most cases. If not, just keep your ratchet on there and keep spinning that out. Now we have the bolt out. And reach out and see if we can wiggle that sensor free. Now there is an electrical connector attached to it. We're gonna remove the sensor here, pull it out, and drop it down. Now we have the connector on the back side. It's easier to remove with the sensor pulled out of the transmission. Push down this little spring clip and go ahead and wiggle the connector free. Remove the sensor. Now our sensor has a little rubber O-ring on it. We went ahead and put a little bit of automatic transmission fluid on that O-ring to help it slide into the transmission a little bit easier. I'm going to connect the connector first I'm gonna feel it here and feel it snap on. And let's feed that sensor up and into the transmission. Once you feel that pop into the transmission, grab that eight millimeter bolt. Let's go ahead and get that up into position and start threading that back in. I'm gonna thread that in as far as I can by hand. I'm gonna come back with my ratchet and we're gonna snug that down. Once that bolt bottoms out, just give it a little bit more. Grab the bolts. Go ahead and get that lined up with that cable bracket.
Now we can go ahead and tighten down the bracket bolts. I'm gonna snug those in there pretty good. Once those bolts bottom out, just give them a little bit more. Go back to the first one, double check that one. Now we're gonna take our cable end here, line that up onto the stud, install the nut. And we have our wrench on the controller up top here. Very important that we hold that stationary as we tighten this nut. Snug that down. When only the best will do, demand TRQ. The only company that lets you view before you do. TRQ is committed to offering the highest quality aftermarket auto parts that are engineered for peace of mind. Thanks for using and viewing with TRQ.